Hello my loves and happy new year. I haven't posted in ages but I have a good reason for that. I took my December off. Uh, I went and traveled to Germany to see my family and I spent Christmas with them and it was really nice. Um, yeah and I just generally had some fun uh, doing so. It was also really nice for me to get out of my town and see other things, notably museums. I was really happy to go into museums, natural history and museums to be more precise. And yeah it was just generally good fun for me and I feel energized and ready to tackle 2022. This year is going to be pretty charged. I have six group shows and one solo show. Can you believe that? that your girl is going to have a solo show. Sure it's on the other side of the world, I'm in France and it's in Australia. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll be able to go there myself to my own solo show which is kind of sad but that's, that's just the reality of the pandemic. But yeah I'm super excited, it's going to be a fun year, a very workloaded year and I thought it would be a perfect year to take you with me in this process of working. Now what so far I did in January was to work on the astronauts. Uh, we are mid-January and I really hope to finish them by the end of January. Um, yeah and I've got some footage of that so you can watch me work. Thank you. 
So I just, uh, so I've just used my airbrush and now, or oh, just this morning and this afternoon, and, um, and <laughs> I'm really having a toxic relationship with my airbrush. Like I, l I love certain things about it and I hate other things. One of the things I hate is that <laughs> I've been using mostly black this morning and this afternoon, and now I have a thin black powder pretty much on all my desks. Um, and even my masks, I just change it. I'm not kidding. So even my mask, I'm not kidding. I just changed it. And um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's basically, it's already starting to look grayish. It's supposed to be black. This is the particle filter. And then you have a gas filter. <clears throat> and in any case, the particle filter, it's, yeah. It's it's grayish, not not white anymore, and this is from using it what today, yesterday maybe a bit, not yesterday but um, on Monday. Um, so yeah, and everywhere now I'm having this black powder, delightful. Um, so yeah, I really hate that about it. I mean, I think it would be best to do it outside, but we're in the middle of winter now, and even though it's not the coldest, it's not super warm outside so yeah i don't know um as i said love hate relationship it, it's it's nice it's like fast and you get you get a very professional look with an airbrush I, and like the blending is easy and it looks great but cleaning awful um that powdery thing protection in general you know you're wearing the mask etc it's like and i'm like really still on the fence about it i mean i'm very happy to have it because otherwise i would not be able to keep a deadline with the astronauts it's already taking me ages but if i had to paint all astronauts with a brush and with a ending that i want uh <coughs> Would be difficult um, to say the least so yeah I cannot deny that but the cleaning and the the powdery and the health um, and then it's also you know it, it uses energy so <laughs> yeah I'm on the fence just wanted to say that in case you know you you seeing me use an airbrush and you're like oh yeah I want an airbrush as well and don't I mean unless you really need one I think you're better off with the brush so yeah, <laughs> just my two cents, and now I am back working on the astronauts.
managed. Um, it is finished, the whole project. I mean, look at these. <laughs> this is the last one that I finished yesterday evening. And now, of course, there's still the varnishing part to you, which is never super fun, but still. But yeah, I am done. So I know they will be able to be shipped next week. And I realized so far, I didn't really talk about the project itself. <laughs> So um, basically it's a collaboration between three parties, two artists, uh, Jeremy Geds and myself, and then uh, a productor, so to speak, Moon Crane Press. And they basically, I'm not exactly sure how it worked, but they made the prototype, they did the cast, they did the figurines. So from an original painting or drawing, I don't remember if it was a drawing. The original drawing from Jeremy Getz is an astronaut surrounded by flying birds and it was made into a sculpture through Moon Crane Press and I come here and customize each figurines so there will be an, a total of 10 available online. There are no reservation, no selection possible. Um, and I'm not exactly sure when they're going to put them online. I know I will send them back next week and they will uh, quality check um, the side of the final price and then put them online and then it's first come, first served basis. It's not the first time that I collaborate with Moon Crane Press. It's the second time. Last time was a collaboration with Miles Johnston and it was a crying woman over decaying body. It was two years ago, I think already, two or three years ago. I personally, I know Lost was like a huge success and many people related to it because, you know, death. But I personally preferred working on the astronauts because it fits more with my work in general, my theme. Basically, I imagine the astronauts to be dead and it's just the suit that is left and then life is taking over. So that's kind of my interpretation of things. And yeah, that really fits well with what I work because I take objects and then I put growth on them. So in that sense, I really loved working on these. I'm also really happy that it's finished because <laughs> Ooh, that was a lot of astronauts. Also, if you can count the actually 12, that's because two go into archives. So yeah, that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed the process of making these and me blabbing once in a while about them. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video and um, have a lovely day, a lovely weekend. If you're looking this on Friday, tomorrow, I will post it tomorrow. Hope everything is all right on your side. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>